So what do you do when a woman walks away from you? Do you, option A, beg for her to stay, or option B, do you say good riddance and move on with your life? Well, what do you think? Write down your answer below in the comments section. Just say A or B. That will be enough. Go on, take a few seconds and let me know. Write A or B. I'll wait here. Done? Great. Now, before I let you know what I think you should do, I'd like to introduce you to a concept known as the Hot-Cold Continuum. It's something that I teach inside the Derek Rake Fredo Hill Shogun Method Bootcamp, a concept which we will feature inside Shogun Method 2.0. I'll tell you more about Shogun Method later, but first, let's talk about the Hot-Cold Continuum. With a woman, there's one thing that you must always be aware of, and that's her interest level in you. This applies to someone you just approached, someone you already know, or your girlfriend or wife. A woman assigns you a number based on how intense her feelings are for you. Let's say we put this number on a scale from 1 to 10. 1 is the lowest level of interest, she barely notices you at all, and she has got as much sexual attraction to you as to a bench in the park. As we move up this scale, her interest level goes up. 10 is the highest you can go. This is where Shogun Method Emotional Addiction resides. If you're a Shogun, you should already know this. When your woman reaches the E stage inside the Shogun Method IRA model, you are on number 10 on this scale. Easy to understand, right? Inside Shogun Method, we go beyond interest level and measure the degree of hotness instead. It's quite simple. A woman operates in either the hot mode or the cold mode. When she is in the hot mode, everything's easy. You have amazing rapport with her, she's agreeable to everything you say, she bends over backward for you, everything's great. On a deeper level, if you're running Shogun Method on her, her subconscious mind is open to you completely. You can plant ideas in her mind easily. On the other hand, when she is in the cold mode, you're in hell. She will throw out shit tests at you so fast that your head spins. Everything becomes hard. Communications become superficial. At best, she gets distracted. And at worst, she disrespects you. If you're running Shogun Method on her, her subconscious mind is closed to you. Your intrigue pings, implanted commands, and Shogun sequences will fail to register with her. Just like the interest level, the hotness and coldness of a woman falls on a scale. We call this the hot-cold continuum. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 signifies extreme hotness, while 10 signifies extreme coldness. When a woman is cold, she is shut off from you completely. When a woman is hot, she will be receptive to whatever you say to her. As a side note, shoguns should use something like the Black Rose sequence only when the woman is 9 or 10 in the hot-cold continuum. Now, let's get back to what we talked earlier. When a woman walks away from you. As a shogun, you must step back and think strategically. Most non-shoguns will have a knee-jerk reaction and start to chase after the women who had moved away from them. Don't do that. Instead, do what shoguns do. First, understand why she is behaving this way. When she does that, what happens is that her hotness score for you has fallen below a certain threshold. A woman who is hot for you will never walk away. Now, the lower she goes in the hot-cold continuum, the more shit tests she will give you. Make no mistake, walking away is a shit test. And if you chase after her, you will have failed the test, moving further down the hot-cold continuum. So, as a Shogun, what you must do is to make her hot again, moving up the hot-cold continuum. How do you do that? There are three steps to this, and I will share with you the three steps in a while. For now, scroll down and find the Like button, and click it. Do this because it will help me reach out to more guys like you. You'll agree that we need this knowledge to reach even more people and help them. Go on, click like now because I'll wait here. Clicked like? Great. Let's continue. Let's recap. When a woman walks away from you, what her behavior is telling you is this. My hotness for you has gone down the continuum scale. To make her interested again, you must move up the scale again, above the hotness threshold. If you chase her, what you're doing is moving down the scale, not up. Chasing after her will have the counterproductive effect of making her walk further away from you. Trust me on this. Instead, what you should do is what shoguns would do. First, do the love bomb. This is where you pretend to chase after her. Okay, this sounds the opposite of what I just told you, I know. I'll explain this in a second. For now, you must pretend that you're chasing after her. If she has just left you, send her text that you want her back. For example, What's happening? Let's talk. Why are you behaving like this? 
Again, you may be cringing at this, but bear with me here. What you want to do is to affirm the belief in her mind that you care about her. You want to do this because of one thing. You want to set her up for the fall. Make sense? She may respond to you, or she may not. It doesn't matter. What matters is how you plot the next move. After the love bomb, do the rug pull. You will cut off all contact with her and leave her out in the cold. In short, you pull the rug on her. After about a day or two after you last contacted her, send her a simple text like this. Okay, I guess. The text has got to be short and ambiguous. You want to make her guess what your intentions are. This is important. She will most probably respond and ask you what you mean. At this point, you have got to go 100% cold on her. Resist the temptation to answer her. Switch off your phone. Keep yourself busy with other things. Do not contact her at all. Muster all your willpower and resist answering her, even if she blows up your phone with calls and texts. This is important. Then, let her brew in her questions and feelings as they get bottled up inside her. Make her jump to conclusions. They are always favorable to you. Given the nature of the female mind, she will be swallowed whole by her own volatile emotions. What's next? Well, after a few days of ignoring her, send her a simple text. Alright. That's it. That's the magical one-word text that will do all the work for you. Expect her to reply to you quickly or call you. Answer her call. Make sure it rings for about 30 seconds before you pick it up. Then agree to see her. And when you do, congratulations! She will be a changed person, and she will probably tell you that she regrets walking away from you. At this point, you'll feel that the power in the relationship shifts back to you. And depending on how bad the situation had gotten for her, she would probably be scared of walking away from you again. Now, if you've not done this before, then understand that it's natural to feel a little hesitant at first. Indeed, this is a risky technique, but then again, you're talking about Shogun Method here, not some pussified dating trick by some stupid pickup artist or relationship guru. Shogun Method is about hardcore psychology, and that's why it works so well, because it's risky as hell. So here's the deal. If you're worried that she may go berserk on you, or if she walks away for good, then don't do this. Many guys have found success with Shogun Method, but it's not for everybody. It takes brass balls to make it work. And as Sir David Sterling once said, who dares wins. Some Shoguns give me crap because I tell the world about Shogun Method, and it's true, if the fewer people know about Shogun Method, the better it would be for us Shoguns. However, I know that most people will never have the balls to use Shogun Method anyway, and so it's all good. So here's my question for you. Do you have the balls to use Shogun Method? Will you risk it all to have tremendous success in your love life? If yes, you should join us and be a Shogun. Otherwise, you should just go read a pickup artist ebook or something. That's fine by me. To take the next step to be a Shogun, watch the Fractionation Online Masterclass. It's necessary training for all aspiring Shoguns. You can find the link inside the video description, or you can wait until the link comes up in this video in the end. Go watch the Online Masterclass. Trust me, it will mark a turning point in your life. Do it.